Hi everybody, welcome back to another video review. My name is Darren and I hope you enjoy the show. Today we're looking at the Innova 3306. This is a no frills, a cheap multimeter. And when I see cheap, I'm just talking the price. Uh, this one is actually fairly good build quality, so it's not going to qualify for my cheap old slash crap old video review. Now this multimeter is only 2000 count, but uh, as I did mention, it's uh, pretty well made and I'll show you the insides uh, shortly. Um, this has actually dropped when I took it out of the box. It went flying probably about uh, 14, 15 feet. And suffice to say, it survived. So uh, right off the get-go, I was a pretty good first impression. Um, it's a no frills meter in the sense that it uh, has very few uh, functions. It is non-auto ranging, does not do capacitance, and it does not do continuity. It's strictly for measuring voltage and resistance. Um, one to nine volt batteries, it has a special uh, slight load uh, selector um, for testing those batteries. Um, and it does do current um, up to 10 amps. So uh, yeah, if you wanna stick it into the mains, go ahead. But I would probably use this device strictly for the voltage, uh, AC or DC. Uh, in terms of the DC voltage, it only goes up to 500 volts. And on the AC, it is the same. It's rated at 500 volts. It does have some certifications on the unit. It is listed for the, uh, let's just dig it out here, the UL listing. So, uh, yeah, it does have the UL markings and it is IEC 2000 um, and get that up there or not. Anyway, it has the IEC 2008 certification as well. Um, I did double check on the uh, standards websites and yes, this meter is there, so no surprises. Um, it is a uh, fairly small multimeter. It's a little different in the sense that it has no standing bale in the back. You've got this interesting kind of a nylon mechanism. Um, so you can theoretically put it around your wrist when you're troubleshooting. Um, I would have preferred to see a standing bale because more often than not, when I'm using a meter, it's usually got to be sitting on a bench or a table, but uh, yeah. We'll take it apart in a second. There's only uh, two batteries. I've already taken them out, but it does simply just uh, pop out and pop back in. You've got these interesting little ears on the side. That's where the probes attach into. And speaking of probes, um, they're not bad, you know, for the type of meter that uh, this is really um, geared towards. You know, it, it definitely passes the, uh, the pull test, so no surprises there. Um, you know, Innova is a pretty decent company. They're pretty well known, and they don't usually come up with, uh, come out with uh, crap products. So, yeah, in terms of a rating on these, um, I was trying to see if I can get that. Now we're gonna do a quick measurement test. I've got a uh, regulated DC power supply, and we will go from three to 12 volts and we'll, we'll just do a comparison with a couple of other uh, um, big boys, BK Precision and a uh, Proba 903. Okay, so we're starting at the three volt mark, and as you can see, we've got 3.02, 3.02, and 3.03. .03. All pretty close. Let's take it up a notch, 4.5 volts, and 4.54, 4.54, and 4.5 three for the Innova, going up to six volts. 6.02, 6.02 for the big boys, and 6.00, a dead on for the Innova. Up to 7.5 volts, 7.53 for the Innova, and 7.55 across the board for the BK Precision and the Prova. Up to the nine volt marker, 
9.04, 9.05, and 9.03. Finally, the last voltage setting, 12 volts DC, and we've got 12.39 for the BK precision. Well, actually, we've got some fluctuation here. Um, okay, see if it's going to steady up or not. 12.26 for the Innova, 12.28 for the BK Precision, and 12.28 for the Prova 903. Now, the Prova 903 does have a 60,000 count resolution, so obviously you're getting more counts with that meter, but generally speaking, um, they were all very, very close. So there you go. The $20 Innova is right along the playing field, right beside the uh, $350 Innova. So, I'm sorry, Prova. So, um, good job, Innova. And as you can see, in terms of uh, basic DC voltage, it's uh, fairly accurate. Yeah, so these are rated for Cat 2 600 volts. Um, they're pretty light. Um, I don't really have big hands, but uh, even my hands, I find them a little on the small side. Uh, they're fairly long. Um, you know, they're, they're okay. Uh, nothing to write home about, but, you know, I've seen a lot worse. So uh, they'll do the job. The selector switch on the Innova 3306. Um, it's very soft. Um, probably a little too soft for my liking. It doesn't have that nice clickety-click sound. Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm... It's okay, you know, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't act funny, it's, it's not, I mean, if you push down on it, as you can see, uh, it, it does recess, but uh, the display itself, uh, it stays um, on, there's no uh, stability issues there whatsoever, so, uh, it, it's all right. I mean, you can do it with one, one thumb like I'm doing now, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, it's okay, in terms of selector switch. The display itself, um, it's small, um, bold, not my favorite uh, look. There is no backlight, um, a little bit of glare. You know, nothing special, nothing right home about. Sort of your chip, typical uh, um, display. As you can see, you turn it the wrong way in the glare, and it's uh, you know going to be hard to look at. But um, uh, it's okay. So we're going to do a voltage test, and then I'm going to take this puppy apart um, and uh, see what it's made out of. Okay, so we pulled the Innova apart, and once I got all the crazy glue off, it came apart quite easily. Just kidding about the crazy glue. Now, it comes off really simple. Um, there's two screws, and they are non... Here, I'll show you here. So they go into those, yeah, they're not threaded inserts, but anyway, that's the only way to, to replace the battery. Ships with a peak power, um, heavy duty battery. Um, it's got one of these uh, long alligator, not alligator, sorry, but uh, clip mechanisms for the nine volt battery. Here they've got a little uh, slot. They created a recess in the plastic so the 9 volt battery uh, junction wire can go in there nice and smooth. Um, so if we take a look here, we've got a tiny little current shunt right here, very small. Um, it's got a lot of gouges in it, big glob of uh, solder. And if you can see right here, this is where a piezo or a speaker buzzer would go and in this case because there is no continuity function with this meter hence the buzzer is gone uh, right beside it we got a uh, transistor here's a glass fuse we'll pull that apart in a second we've got one little tiny PTC right here we've got a resistor array some clamping going on um, combination of uh, through hole and uh, SMD components I'd say it's pretty well 50-50 in uh, this case um, here it looks like we've got a uh, I believe that's a 
acts like a voltage regulator, um, which means we could probably see how much voltage uh, this meter is using the current draw in uh, when it's turned on. So I'll, I'll put a meter to that and we'll take a look to see what the, uh, how much juice this one is consuming. Um, going up the list here is not a whole lot to see. It's a tiny PCB. A couple of numbers on here, ET011107. Not quite sure what that's referring to. I don't think that means that this was fabricated in July 2011. At least I hope not. This was purchased in uh, 2018, but um, that's pretty well it. Uh, it's, again, it's a tiny glass fuse. And the um, probe inserts themselves, they are soldered on to the PCB and they are the split type. They are going into these hollow plastic holders so really there's not going to be a whole lot of flex so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah. Uh, the other side, here we got a little bit of shielding. Interest, interesting form of implementation but uh, as you can see uh, that is the, the shielding. Looks like paper on one side, but um, at least it has some. So, you know, that's good to see. Okay, so I'm going to pull apart this fuse and just see what we have. There's a rating on that. So I pulled out the fuse and um, good job, Anovo. It does actually have some ratings on there. So you've got the UL rating, CSA, and it looks like a DE. So... Um, yeah, it's a genuine, and it is um, stamped and rated. And something else I'll just quickly point out as well is the uh, the fuse itself does have those little um, folded-in uh, metal, um, what would you call it, a bracket perhaps? So anyway, that's good. So if you drop the meter, <clears throat> like some people do, uh, it's not going to go flying out of the, uh, the holding mechanism. So uh, yeah, good job. Good job, Anova. Okay, so let's see here. So it looks like we're drawing around 3.4 volts from the meter. So uh, yeah, so that nine volt battery should last a fairly long time. Um, I'm gonna guesstimate you're gonna get at least three to 400 hours out of that um, before you're gonna get a low battery light indicator. But, uh, yeah, there we go. 3.4 volts. Okay, so I just took it off uh, completely. and We're on the other side. The rotary switch tracks. And uh, there you have it. Um, ah, it's clean. Um, doesn't look like it's gold-plated. Uh, not sure what they're using there, but um, there you go. And for the rotary switch itself, you can see right down there, one of those little guys with the ball bearings. These are always fun to play with. And there's the two ball bearings that it sits on. Just before I put it back together, I just thought I would mention, it's a little interesting actually, I haven't seen this too often, but if you look here, this, uh, these are the, um, the tabs for the, um, the probe inserts. Normally they're just soldered on the top, but in this case the insert actually went right through the PCB on all three, and then they soldered. So you've actually got a little more, um, a little more stability there. So uh, in terms of long-term usage, that's going to last a lot more than uh, just having the tip soldered on the at the top of the PCB. So uh, yeah, very nice little touches like that that actually make a difference in the long run. And finally, the last thing we'll be looking at today with the Innova 3306 is the diode mode. Um, let's see, can it light up this white LED? And no, it cannot. Let's try reversing that. And no, it cannot. And nothing on the display as well, so that's too bad. Fail. Closing thoughts for the Innova 3306. It's a mixed bag for me. It's got some good, it's got some bad, and it's got a lot of in-between. 
the good is that it's fairly well made. It's a solid little chassis. Like I said, it went flying in my hands when I took it out of the uh, plastic enclosure and uh, it had no problems. Um, so it, it's it built to, to withstand uh, the rough and tough of everyday life. Um, the selector switch, it's a little mushy for me. I, I'm not liking it. I prefer something a little more clickety click, a little, uh, a little better feel. Um, it does have the shielding, which is nice to see, albeit a interesting implementation, but at least it does have the shielding. And as well, it has that nice um, through a hole, uh, through the PCB for the um, input uh, jacks themselves. So not only it's soldered to the main board, but they're also actually protruding through the main board. So you get a little more uh, rigidity and in the long term, it's going to be better for the wear and tear. Um, that being said, it does not have continuity, which for me is a huge uh, faux pas. I mean, continuity is important. It doesn't matter if you're checking circuits or just checking wires. It, for me, it's like 101 in terms of a meter. It's, a meter's got to have continuity. So it's lacking this, and that's a big, big uh, X, uh, at least in my eyes. Um, it does not have an auto shutoff. It does not have a backlight. The display itself is a little meager. Um, I'm going to give the Innova 3306 2.5 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching this review. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you're not, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And that automatically enters you into the multimeter bonanza that is uh, coming up. Um, I'll be giving away three different uh, multimeters. And uh, so subscribe and you're automatically entered. Till the next time, keep on testing.